Hello, I'm going to give a quick demonstration on how to import KML files into the Hot Air app for iOS. Uh, these files are also known as PZ files or for precautionary zone or primary zone. Also, uh, they are sometimes referred to as red zone files, but they're simply KML files which can be made in Google Earth. So. Uh, to begin, uh, I'm just going to show you uh, what version I'm using. So I'm using Hot Air app version 10.1, and this is running iOS 11. But iOS 10 and future versions of iOS should be fairly similar to this. All right, so the first way to do it is to uh, email yourself a KML file. Um, I'll show you one more way after uh, this round. But the first primary way is through email. So I'm going to open up my email. And uh, so here's a file I sent myself in the email. And so if you long tap on the attachment, which is just a KML file, you'll get a pop-up that allows you to open it up into a different apps. And so if you can scroll over, so I'm just uh, swiping over until I find the Hot Air app and it says copy to Hot Air. And so I select that. And then uh, the Hot Air app opens up and it says, okay, KML, Import has been successful. So I just hit OK. And now to activate this overlay, um, what I do is tap on, go to the real-time tab. So at the bottom, the real-time tab. And then you can set custom KML overlays, which is right here. And tap on that. And then the new one I just imported is called the Skydancer Local Area. And so if I want that to display or be overlaid on all the maps uh, in the app, I just tap it to get the check mark. And if I don't want it to display, then I can come back here and tap it again. So I'll tap that, go back, and then I'll just simply look at the maps here and I'll show you where they show up. So they show up in the Michigan area and you can see them all centered here and then you can tap on some of the callouts to get uh, tower frequencies and such. All right, so that's how you do it through email. It's uh, fairly simple. Uh, however, there are, like say, there's festivals such as Fiesta that just occurred. You can uh, get to, they have websites that have these PZ zone files. And uh, for instance, they have one particularly for Google Earth and the Hot Air app. So right there is the file. If I just click on that link, oops, I took not too long so anyways I just tap on the link that says Google Apps and Hot Air app for iOS and it comes up to open this so this is this is just part of their website all websites are slightly different and I just want to continue to the website so I'm gonna hit the continue to website button here and it opens up their file share uh, page and so there give two options that say download so I really just want to download the file so I'm gonna hit download again and what it does there is it opens up the file and from here I can say open in hot air. Sometimes if you have Google Earth or other apps installed that may not be the default as hope open in hot air. If it does, you can just click on open in hot air directly, but I'm just going to hit the more button just to show you uh, that all the options you can get. So if I hit the more button, you again get all the apps that you can open this file in. And so I can just swipe back and forth. And again, you can see the, the copy to hop hot air app icon right there. So I just click on that and then it opens up the app and it says now the KML uh, has been imported successfully and it gives you the name of the file. So I'm just say, okay. And again, I'm going to go back to the real time tab, then select the custom KML map overlays. And there it is the very top option here that we just imported. So I'm going to tap on that. Uh, enable it and then when I go back to the maps or if I'm in the real-time flight mode these will also show up but I'm going to uh, pan over to Albuquerque here and now you can see all of the zones and they all have little pins so you can click on them and then get information about these areas which can be quite handy. So there you have it. That's how you import KML files into the Hot Air app on iOS 11. 
Um, this is Hot Air App version 10.1, but it should be, again, fairly similar in iOS 10 and potentially future versions as well. So hope that helps.